month is going to be all about birds here at Log Cabin Leather by Jan. So if you're a bird lover yourself or you know somebody that's a bird lover, you may want to check out this series. All month long I'll be sharing stories about how birds became the subject matter for many of my products. If you don't know who I am, I've been making handmade leather products since 1977. And birds have always been my most popular subject. So today I'm going to show you the stories how that got started and why but this whole month I'm going to be sharing information about the birds about the products taking you behind the scenes and showing you how some of the products are made talking about custom products telling you why these products are perfect for somebody who does love birds and so forth uh, today I'm going to start out by sharing the story of really how the birds came to be important to me um, well it started with my mom most of us, when we start crafts or anything, and this was back when I was in college, a college student, um, you know, you're influenced and you make things for the people around you first. So I discovered leather when I was in college, um, just kind of by accident. Uh, once I discovered it, though, it became my passion. So, of course, first when you're making things and you're experimenting, you make things for your family and, you, and your friends and so forth because... You know, you, you want something to do with them. You're trying to find things that people will like. So I love to give gifts for my mother. Um, my mother was a bird lover. So I always was buying her things. Birds. Loons are, in particular, our favorite. Um, and that came to be after I was six years old. But today I'm going to really share the stories of how the birds began. I grew up in Massachusetts. Um, we lived in the suburbs of Boston, just north of Boston, uh, where we lived. It was wooded behind our house. You know, the houses were very close together on the street, but the land behind us was a reserve. It could not be built on, so there was a lot of wooded area, you know, right behind the house. So my mother was a bird watcher. She, we had a bird feeder that was attached to our um, windowsill in our dining room, which was a big picture window, and that's where my mother spent... A good portion of her time watching the birds um, so she loved birds so now this is a book that was bought for her <laughs> in the 1960s I believe um, you can see it's rather worn this was my mother's and again it's a birds of America the Garden City books so when ever she saw a bird in the yard especially if she didn't know what it was, but I think at first even birds she did know what were, like cardinals and things like that. She would write down in the book where, when she saw it. She would find the page about that book and, you know, that bird in here, and then she would write down the date and so forth where she saw it. So, say in, seen April 12th, 1980, the red-winged blackbird. You know, the indigo bunting is listed in here, the chickadee. She kept articles. Loons were our favorite. So, again, she has all sorts of articles about loons on Lake Winnipesaukee. Actually, there's an, one here about herons. So, the birds. She loved birds. So, obviously, loons and herons are not coming to her bird feeder. <laughs> so, it was things like cardinals, chickadees, uh Kit mouse, you know, there was a lot of different birds she loved. I have a uh, embroidery thing here I made with titmouse on her. Before I discovered leather, I would buy her all sorts of gifts with birds on them. Um, so the birds became very popular. One of the original items I made for her was a notepad, which I do have her original notepad around here, but I can't put my hands on it right now. This, you know, this is actually a journal. Uh, but it was something she kept by the phone, had the bird on it, so if somebody loves birds, things like this are going to give them those happy memories, no matter where they are. Now, again, this is a long time ago, so we you know, only had landlines. Uh, my parents never, ever had a computer or anything. Didn't know anything about them. That was before their time, or cell phones or anything like that. So something like this, you know, next to the phone to write her notes. It had the pen that was handy, you know, right there, so... You had it when you needed it, um, refillable, things like that. So practical things, but also things that evoke memories for people. Um, I have all different things like that. I have things like photo albums. Now, again, some of these things are not as popular anymore because a lot of people um, 
keep the stuff on their phone. But it's hard to find through. I know people, you know, when they're trying to find the picture they want to show you and stuff. Well, still, photo albums are a nice way to do that. And again, reminds you, now the heaven has personal connection to me. Because... The place we used to live here in New Hampshire was on a little pond originally. It was Rolf Pond in, in Hopkinton or Kentuckook. And the heron used to land right on our shore. And the thing that's incredible most about them is the sound it makes when they take off. The whoosh of their wings. It's really, and they're huge. They're huge. Um, but it used to fish right off our shore. It was awesome fishing there. My daughter used to catch three pound bass, bass right off of, you know, standing on the beach. Uh, so the heron reminds me of that. And that's a memory because this is where my children grew up. We do not have the house anymore. Um, we now live in the log cabin. But this reminds me of that whenever I see it. it. It's a connection. So that's what my products, I hope, will do is make that connection. These are lifelong keepsakes. So even though my mother is gone, the things of the birds that I have remind me of her. Again, this catalog is was made in 1978, so it's 43 years old. They're meant to last, so that is what these products will do. I have all different types of products. Now, this one actually happens to be a journal, but the pen holds it closed, so if you have little notes and things you're sticking inside, they're not going to fall out. But a per what's a perfect way to record the bird, bird sightings you have? Or if you wanted a scrapbook where you could put actual pictures in and things like that. For those of you who still like to scrapbook, that can be done too. Any book can be made in a custom size if there's a particular bird you want. And, you know, those are things I can do too. Um, but these are lifelong treasures. They're functional. They're durable. They're meant to be used. Um, not just, you know. I also make home decor and things like that. You know, so you can have wall hangings and so forth. This is another, this is a custom order for someone. Beautiful wall hanging here. Um, this is actually Mount Major on Lake Winnipesaukee here in New Hampshire. is seen from Alton Bay from their house. This is the view that they look across the lake at. And, of course, there's loons on the lake. So this is, again, for a special memory for them so they can keep it forever. This is an original thing that I made my mother, and this is old, old. And see, this is before I really even knew about coloring leather and so forth. Um, and these were patterns that did actually come from a book. And actually, this is painted, I believe, with oil paint. This is something trying to experiment with the colors and so forth. Um, but oil paint, I did not find effective because it does chip off some. It cracks and it chips off. I now use acrylic paint. I have pretty much perfected my technique in using it because even this was just done like a year after that one and it, I'm not having issues with the paint cracking on this one so the oil paint did not work I mean it absorbs nice you can mix the colors nice but it really is not effective because it does crack when it gets older so my products are meant to last they're meant to be used now this was what I call a desk organizer this was something that was for my mother she had something made like this not out of leather that was on, she kept in the front hall on the desk and put, would put the mail in it. So she would take her mail out, leave the mail for my father. When he came home, he would take his mail, so forth. Um, so that's what this is. It's, you know, you keep it on a desk. It's to organize your things. I'm kind of practical. I like things that can be used. So to me, the things like this, the notebooks, the journals, the photo albums, to me are the more practical things. This is my newer catalog because this is the log cabin I live in. It is not actually on the pond anymore. But that's trying to connect me back to my pond where my kids grew up. I have lots of other bird things in the works here. These are again some more of the home decor things. Beautiful cardinal nest. I also have a beautiful hummingbird picture. It's about ready for painting. I have some chickadees and so forth. So this, this whole month, I will be sharing more stories about the individual products, about the particular birds and so forth. Um, I will be having sales this month, and some of the bird things will be on sale. 
Um, I will, you know, I write a blog and I'll have information about the birds. That will be the topic all this month and so forth. Um, I hope you'll check out some of my things. I will be having, again, I have a couple sales during the month. So my big trunk sale at the end of the month um, will be all bird products. So if you want to get in on that sale and to get the best deals and discounts on the things I have, then you want to join my email. Um, there's a link, I think, you know, Facebook is changing things. And the link on my face, on my, directly on my page is not the correct one. It's a MailChimp one and I can't get rid of it. It doesn't give me any option to delete that and that is not the email I use anymore. Um, they sometimes frown on you putting links elsewhere. Um, you can always message me and I will send you the uh, link. You can you know, just, you know, I would private message me with your email and say, please, I would like to join your, e you know, your email list. And that will give you special deals and discounts. Uh, people that are on my email list and my, I call my VIP insiders. And everything I make is limited edition. I mean, this is the only heron I have right now. I have done a picture with a heron on a journal, things like that. But I never have two of the same thing at the same time. I happen to, I do have a couple cardinal things right now. I have this one and I have, a, I think, a notebook or something that has a cardinal pair on it. But I never have two scenes that are exactly the same at the same time because everything is done different. And that's what, what how I do things. If I use this exact same pose of the heron, the scenery is going to be backwards. It might be facing the different direction. It might not be on the log that time. Um, it might not have the sunset. Every picture is different. So that's why I can compose the things you want. If you have, you know, you can send me pictures. I can do the custom things that way. But I try to make my things unique. So they are limited edition, which is the point I'm trying to get to. They are limited edition. So if you're on my email list, you get access to the sales, to the products first. Um, the sales, you know, generally start a few hours before they do for the public, so forth, or the day before even. So, but it's first come, first serve. I mean, once they're gone, they're gone. So, you you know, you have to act fast, but that's the whole idea. You have access first before anyone else. When I launch products, I have a pre preview party for uh, people on my email list, and so they can buy the products the day before they're actually offered to the public and so forth like that. So I'll have a, a launch in the fall. I was going to do a launch now, but again, I'm going to kind of focus on the bird thing here. Uh, so that's pretty much what's going on. If you know a bird lover, if there's a special product you want for a bird lover, special bird on something, I will work with you. Everything here at Log Cabin Leather is, by Jan is made by Jan. <laughs> that's me. So, you know, I'm going to work with you to try to get you the product and the things you want. Uh, you know, I message, email, call, whatever but work back and forth, show pictures. Like again, working on this, we're showing her di several different pictures and so forth. Um, composition, which, you know, what you wanted to wear. Uh, I was gonna have, you know, more detail with trees in the background, you know, more like this, for example. And they said no, because again, really from the distance they are across the lake, they don't see the details of the trees. So change that. So I'm gonna make the product that you want. I'm gonna work with you. Obviously, I have products that are pre-made and so forth, and those are the you know the items that will be offered during my sales and so forth. Um, if you have any questions about birds or, or things you know you're interested in, please don't hesitate to to message me. Um, you can do that right, you know, Facebook or email or whatever, and get in hold of me, and I'd be glad to work with you to make the products that you want. That's going to wrap it up for now. Once again, this is Jan Hibbard. Log Cabin Leather by Jan. Been making handmade products since 1977. Thank you very much.